Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Good morning, Fred and Susan Lonschlager have brought, brought their young son, Lars, over here for us to take a look at. And uh, Lars has uh, presented with some unusual little spots on the lingual of the mandibular alveolar ridge. They're on the left side, and if uh, luck prevails, we'll have a chance to see them. Let's take a look, Fred, and see if we can uh, demonstrate just inside here. Boy. Hold his head for him. You can see there are two tiny little yellowish white spots. Are we visualizing those all right? Fred, let me ask you a question or two about uh, your experience with these little things. How did you first notice them? Well, uh, we noticed them yawning or just uh, crying at times. And uh, one day I was just looking in his mouth and I saw these two little white nodules on his uh, mandible. Have you done an inspection of his mouth uh, all the way around? Or did you just see uh, these two little things and that was it? Well, actually, I didn't look that close. I, uh, uh, you know, you don't want to get your fingers in his mouth too much. and. Uh, he just happened to be crying at the time, and I looked there, and you could see the palate uh, real well, and uh, upper parts of the mandible were easy to see, and that's where I spotted it. Good. How would you describe these if you were to fill out, say, a biopsy report for him? What would you say on the form about these two little lesions? I guess I'd say two small lesions uh, on the uh, alveolar, uh, the lingual portion of the alveolar process on the uh, mandible, left, left side, and uh, there's two lesions are uh, approximately a, a millimeter and a half to a millimeter and uh, uh, they're slightly raised they're hard and there's very slight uh, erythema around each of them very good very good they're, they're dome shaped right domed uh, and that would be good to write in the uh, elevation elevated dome shape right very symmetrical and uh, hard little nodules yeah how long do you think they've been there when did you first notice them in other words well my wife said she noticed them almost right after they were born uh, he was born and uh, i noticed them maybe a week later when he was crying once and uh, how old is the baby now the baby's nine weeks old right now okay what do you expect is going to happen to these little things well, i think they'll eventually just probably just fall off and uh, as he grows and as the uh, deciduous dentition comes in, well, they'll probably just be displaced and maybe fall right off. And so what do you think they are? Uh, these Epstein pearls or uh, uh, I don't know the other name right offhand. Epstein. Bonds nodules Bonds is nodules. another name, yes. Mm -hmm. right. I think that's probably what they are. Okay. And, uh, do you know uh, what causes these little things? What are they really aside I, from the name? I think they're just sort of a, an off growth or a change in the uh, dental lamina or the... Uh, the dental, uh, the forming organs, the uh, uh, the original organs, or the the uh, LV, <laughs> you better talk. Yeah, the dental lamina uh, <laughs> sends down these little uh, sprouts to form the teeth at uh, 28 uh, sites around the mouth, and of course, as the dental lamina breaks up, it leaves behind small portions, and some of these small portions continue to enlarge. They become cystic, and that's what we're looking at here: right. the remnants of that organ, which is. Uh, undergone a little hyperplasia and subsequent cyst formation, they will be exfoliated, and that is just coalesce with the oral mucosa, be ruptured by some physical movement, and then that will be the end of them. They disappear okay. spontaneously. Thank, Thank you. you. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.